Thank you for your interest in the third annual conference, Neuroscience Meets Recovery. This conference will be held September 4th through 6th, 2008 in the Las Vegas Hilton Hotel. Four years ago, I had the uh, wonderful opportunity to sit down with the great folks at U.S. Journal Training and Health Communications to discuss a conference that we all felt would be very valuable uh, to clinicians working with compulsive disorders, addictive disorders. We, we understood that uh, there was so much emerging research in neurobiology, neuroscience, with uh, the neuroimaging technology, the ability to see things and understand things that we had never been able to understand and see before, uh, really opened up many doors uh, in terms of understanding not only the progression of addiction, but what happens in recovery in the brain. One of the things we realized was that this information really wasn't getting to the clinicians whose work was so valuable in helping those who suffer from addictive disorders and related disorders in terms of uh, aiding their recovery. So we looked at designing a conference that would integrate the, the best of neuroscience, neurobiology, neuroimaging, and but not only integrate it, but to, to bring it to the attention of clinicians in a way that would be readily applicable to their particular work. Now, probably the most difficult task that we've had was trying to come up with uh, researcher, tech, you know, uh, clinicians because, you know, that's a pretty rare breed. Now, we were looking for people who not only had research understanding and research experience, but had been able to translate that research into actual clinical care. So we weren't so much interested in the information of the research, you know, really interested in the knowledge that could be transferred into the clinical environment. Now, I think this year's third annual conference, uh, we probably have the, the most amazing uh, group of researcher, uh, clinician, teachers that we've ever had. Just a few uh, to mention. Uh, for example, we have Dr. Wesley Clark, who's director of Center for Substance Abuse Treatment. Dr. Clark has spent most of his professional career trying to help uh, clinicians understand and apply the new research that is uh, being developed in the areas of addiction and compulsive disorders and in areas uh, that, that are, are often called complicating factors such as trauma, you know, affect regulation, and, and other types of situations such as attachment. We also have, and, and we actually have spent three years trying to get Dr. Alan Shore to uh, be a part of this faculty. For those of you who read Dr. Shore's books, uh, you know that they're considered the seminal work in terms of right hemisphere development as it pertains to trauma, empathy, affect regulation, transference, countertransference. We're just delighted to have Dr. Shore with us. We also have the doctors Marshak, uh, who will talk about a, a very uh, interesting uh, finding of uh, genetic polymorphism and uh, how it's applied in the understanding of compulsive addictive disorders and how they uh, take this information and create a, a knowledge base that allows them to individually tailor care. So we're very happy and look forward to hearing what they have to say. We have also with us uh, Dr. Carl Sullivan from West Virginia University. Uh, Dr. Sullivan will be talking about the uh, new approach using partial agonists such as uh, buprenorphine or suboxone as it relates to opiate addiction treatment. He also will be talking about the exciting discovery with Shantex and how that is applied to nicotine treatment. Now, as a special guest, we have Dr. Richard Bandler. Uh, many of you remember Dr. Bandler, uh, one of the co-creators of neurolinguistic programming. Uh, we're looking forward to an evening with Dr. Bandler and uh, his new findings in the area of NLP. Now, these are just a few of the many researcher, clinician, teachers that will be at the conference. Uh, we really believe that uh, this is a conference that is going to allow you not only to learn quite a bit, but to come back to your office with knowledge that can be directly applied to patient care. So we really look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. It's going to be a great experience and uh, we want to see you there.